friends, today we're going to be talking about a brand new product from Microsoft called Bookings. So let's talk about it. All right, so this opens up a whole new world. Microsoft Bookings now allows you to create these things called booking pages where you can set up your work hours as well as when you're available for different services. This is a perfect opportunity for you guys who are photographers, wedding planners, or marketing directors, or, you know, really honestly, anybody could use this product, but man, this literally blows my mind with the opportunities now that you have with this product. So you have the opportunity for these things called pages, like how I said previously. You can create multiple pages as well as shared booking pages. These are places that you can send your clients to then allow them to book time with you on slots that you are available. So no more going back and forth on Teams or email to figure out when the time works best for you. Just send them the link to your booking calendar and boom, you're done. Now, some of you guys might be asking, okay, well, this isn't really that new for me because Zoom or you know, GoToConnect or GoToMeeting or things like that have already had it. Well, Technically, yes, that's true, but now Microsoft has some skin in the game. So let's look at it and see if it's even worth the hype. So here I am on the main page of bookings. As you can see at the top, I've got my own personal bookings page, but I've also created my own shared bookings page bookings page, that's hard to say, booking pages here at the bottom. I have this leadership team one where I've added all of our leadership team onto that page so we're all connected. So first I wanna show you how to create one. So obviously you're gonna start with selecting this create button at this corner here. And it's going to ask you if you'd like to choose uh, a clone of an existing page or you can create your own. Let's create one from scratch. So here you're going to add a name to it. So let's say we want this for YouTube training. Okay, then you can add a logo if you'd like. I'm not going to because I don't have enough time in this video to do it. Then you can choose a business type. Here you can say other and that gives you the opportunity to change the name later on because this is just a few uh, business types and honestly what we're doing right now doesn't even go with any of these. So I would select other if you don't see one that applies to you. Then you make sure that your business hours are correct. So for ours, it actually is 8.30 to 5.30. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna change it. Now, if you notice here, many of you guys might be watching this video as a wedding planner or a photographer or a videographer. You guys normally work on weekends, right? You might be needing to be booked for a photo shoot or a wedding. Normally those are Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So here you can change your work week. So if it's not Monday and it's not Tuesday, but it is Friday and Saturday, you can change it here. Now for me, I am a normal work week, so I'm going to remove Saturday and Sunday and keep it only Monday to Friday. Then I'm gonna click next. You can then invite staff members. Let's say I wanted to add him to this booking page. I would just click on him and I could give him a certain amount of access so he could be a guest, a viewer, a scheduler, a team member, or an administrator. So here I'm just gonna make him a team member and I'm gonna click next. Now I'm just gonna preference this. The real thing you really, should know is do you want this person to have unlimited access to change anything? Do you want them to be able to see the blockouts in your calendar? Or do you want them to not be able to see the blockouts in your calendar? Um, depending on what you'd prefer will change what you'd want them to see. Um, I would normally, if you're unsure about what you want them to see, I would just make them um, a guest or a viewer that's like the least amount of access they could have now if you're comfortable with that person and it's on your team you can easily give them team member access and you should be totally fine um, as far as changing like the main admin stuff that's when you would give them administrative roles not many people would need that so once I've hit next I now can set up services 
So right now it's going to default it to 30 minute meetings. Now if I click change, this is where I have the opportunity as you saw in the past where I said other, you can change that service name here. So you can title it. This is like an example, let's say you wanted to do family photo shoots, right? You were a photographer and you wanted to allow people to book for family shoots. So you would change this title to family shoots and then you would say the duration that that service would be here. So let's say they were about an hour long and then you would say when that's available and then you would click update service. Now you can um, have that and then click next. Now here's the thing, you'll, I mean it says it right here but you will be able to add more services later so if you're a photographer and you do a bunch of other different kinds of shoots you can do that. So in this you know, story that I'm creating on this booking page. It's for YouTube content. So for me, I would change this and I'll say, um, let's say video editing. This would be an opportunity for people to book me for certain editing times, but then I can make this a Teams meeting or I can remove it. So that's actually really cool because if it's something where you're needing to meet with somebody for it, you can select that. But if it's going to be something in person or maybe it's just you doing um, a task on the side for somebody, like this case, you can remove that check and it won't create a Teams meeting with it. So then I would click Update Service and Next. Then it's going to ask you to choose who can book appointments. So. This is important. So if you want it to just be inside your organization, you would click people in my organization. Now, if it's no self-service, schedule appointments only from the bookings app, that means basically you're, you can, somebody can only book with you if you give them access to your bookings page. Now, anyone, people can book with a public self-service page. So you would make your booking page public to anybody and you'd be able to share that link with anybody, whoever you choose. This is what you would use, the anyone's one. This is what you would use if you were putting this on a website or something like that. So you would really need to select this to make sure that the link will work for somebody going on to the link. So what I mean is if you had it as people in my organization, then when you would add that link to your website and a potential lead would click on it, they would not be able to get on because they don't have access um, inside your domain and they don't have an email inside your domain. So Microsoft is going to be like, no go. So if you are wanting to make this public with potential leads and clients, you would make sure to click anyone. Then you would click create. And it's gonna take about two minutes for this to load. While it's doing that, if you invited somebody to a page, this is where it's going to be inviting them. It's gonna be sending the email and then boom, it's done. And you are ready to start booking. It is going to give you your link to be able to add anywhere. And you can um, right click on this and copy the link right here. You can also click this share button and it allows you to share it via email, Facebook, Twitter, or you can just click copy here and then get started. So how this is going to look, you are going to have a lot of different things to choose from. This first part is calendars. You're gonna have the opportunity to see when these people are available. Um, so let's say it was an internal bookings, so you wanted to have your employees be able to book time with you as maybe their boss. You would be able to see the employee's uh, calendar as well as um, they could see yours. Now you're like, ah, I don't want that. Well, they won't be able to see everything. They'll just be able to see when things are blocked out. So they're not gonna see titles, they're not gonna see descriptions or anything like that. So don't worry about that. Then you've got this booking page. This is the main page where you could add different um, controls. You can customize this to your liking. So if you see here, when you click customize page, you can change the color and the fonts and stuff like that. 
You can also change the um, zone settings, the time zone settings, um, customer data usage content. So you can go through all of these to make sure and change that. So this is what um, your people are going to see when they first click the, click the link to schedule um, something with you. So you wanna make sure to customize this page to your liking. So like for me, I can just say the new and I want it to be orange because it has to do with the Axiom colors. You can also set a custom color if you want. Display the logo, yes. Um, then you can save it and this link is now updated. Now something to note, I haven't figured out I bet you by the time this video is out, it's already going to be updated. So don't come at me. But right now, I don't have a way to preview the page besides just clicking on the page itself right here. And it opens up a new tab for you to see what it would look like to somebody who clicks the link. Now, this looks pretty freaking professional. So I think it's awesome. I would recommend using it to look super professional to uh, your employees, to maybe even your boss or potential clients, things like that. It looks super nice, super clean, and you can click any of the times here. Once they select it, then they can put their name, their email, their address, phone number, um, and any notes, and then click book, and boom, you're gonna get an email saying that somebody has tried to book a time with you, and it gets added directly to your calendar. So easy. If you look up here, this is where your different services would be. So notice I only have one that I titled video editing. Now, if I had multiple here, they would select which one they would like to book. And it says the amount of time that they would be booking it for. So going back to this page, you've got customers. This is where you can add customers directly here. So these are people that are going to be using your services a lot, maybe gonna be um, setting up bookings many of times and you wanna have access to just see their data really quickly here. Oh, when I say data, I don't mean data. Um, see their contact information here. So then you've got staff. If you add somebody to this booking page, you're going to see their information here. So what does that mean? If you look here, you've got my email, my team's email, you've got my job title, the status of my booking. So this is the last time I changed it as well as the email last sent. Um, you've got my services here. So the services that I provide. You can also easily look at calendar availability here, services, contact information, and I can book an appointment with myself right here, super easy. Then you've got services. Here is where you can add new services. Um, if you click here, you can just start going on and you can say even a price for your service. You could say that it's free. You could say the amount of attendees that are allowed in here. <laughs> you can go crazy. So I'm not gonna go through all of this because it is a lot, but just know that it's really intricate and super awesome. Something that I did wanna highlight though, is you can select with this certain service, a certain person. <laughs> so this was like, what? This was awesome. When I figured this out, I was like, you're freaking kidding me. Because let's say you were working for a marketing agency and you wanted to be able to allow them to book certain types of services with certain kinds of employees. So for example, if they wanted a job that had to do with branding, they would have the branding team only be able to be selected. But if they wanted to have something to do with video design or something like that, they would have the video and graphic design team, you know, assigned to that. So there's a lot of customization depending on your business. And I think it's super cool that Microsoft gave all of these opportunities. Now, you've also got this business information page. This is what you would fill out so that they know your business hours, basic details about your business. These are just descriptions that will end up going onto your booking page. So make sure to fill this out as well before sharing the link with people. I think it's super helpful um, just for people who are using that link for the booking page for potential clients and potential leads. So last thing you've got is integrations. Now, 
I am not going to go into this in detail because this is going way above and beyond, but basically you could set up automation. So depending on what they do inside bookings, it could trigger other things inside other applications. This is a lot for somebody just learning how to use this. So I would recommend just going in and trying to figure the basics out before trying to make automations happen. Um, but once you do, it is really cool of a feature to have um, to add even just a layer of awesomeness onto this already cool product. So I'm gonna go back out here and notice how now I have the YouTube training as well as the leadership team. So now I can share these links easily just by clicking the share button so you can be connected into different kinds of bookings with different teams. I section this out by thinking each booking page is for a different team that has a bunch of different services connected to it, um, but you could categorize it however you'd like. Now, if you click this go to bookings page here, this will go to your personal booking page. So you can always have your own personal one for personal use. Um, so, you know, if you're just talking with somebody via email and they're like, hey, actually, you know what, can you explain this to me? Do you mind, is there a time next week that works good for you? Just send them the link to this and no need to talk any more than that, really. So this is pretty cool. Um, you can choose if you want it to be public or private um, and what will appear for either one. Um, and you can customize this to make it look really cool and not this like weird gray background. Um, so make sure to check out this page as well if you're using it for yourself. Now, these are just the basics on uh, Microsoft Bookings. It's brand new. Um, I just started using it this past week and testing it for you guys. So I'll make even more videos on this once I feel like I've mastered it even more. If you guys have any comments, tips, updates, things you wanna know about it, make sure to comment down below. Um, and I will make sure to create more and more videos on this topic if you guys are interested. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, make sure to hit that subscribe button to be notified anytime I upload a new video. Also, make sure to hit the like button on this video if you enjoyed bookings and you want to know more about it. That will help me understand if I should make more videos on this or drop it like a sack of potatoes. So thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.